this, your limb go? Right? Is your limb going forward, backwards, uh, upwards, downwards, sideways? Okay? Movements have directions. So just keep that in mind. Right. So from here, <coughs> we're just going to use one hand only, which is sweeping back like this. Okay? Sweeping back. Okay? Eventually, the striking hand is going to go in, uh, going under rather than over. You notice? So this is the, the one case that you're actually going under. Okay? So the front, from the front hand, <coughs> just move the front hand, the left hand, and just kind of sweep. Basically, what, you, what you're doing is see, right now your front hand is located on your center line, mm -hmm. which means anything that comes into your center line will be guided away. So you're like seeing an object, you take it and guide it away from the center line. Yeah, just like that. So when you're done, <coughs> the back of your hand is right by your ear or your cheek. Not too high, not too low. By your ear. And palm facing out, rather than facing down. Okay, facing out. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's it. And elbow is up. Otherwise, if uh, your elbow is down, up. Cover, cover your mouth. Cover your mouth. Yeah. Not your nose. Cover your mouth. Yeah. Right. If you don't see your mouth in the mirror, then it's, it's correct. Okay. <coughs> okay. So this. Your hand is still loose, rather than tense like this. Okay, it's just a like a quick motion sideways like this. Okay, all right. One, good. Two, and then you point. Three, point. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Very good. Okay, and switch side. Okay, right hand only. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Very good. And switch back. So left side forward. Okay, so we're adding the punch. So again, both hands arrive at the same time. Okay, <clears throat> so but it's, it appears that the front hand moves first, just slightly. Okay, so it looks like this. Okay, and you still do your setup. One and two. So this hand by itself is pointing. Okay. Same thing. Together, still pointing. All right. Okay. One. Mm -hmm. Two. Okay. More vertical. With the punch. Yeah. Three. So it's up. Yeah. Four. Five, good. Six, that's it, very good. Seven, looking good. Eight, mm -hmm. nine, mm -hmm. ten. And this one, it feels very natural to you. Yes. From, from my standpoint, yes, it, it, it does feel very natural. <coughs> Okay, so we're switch to the right side forward. <laughs> Same thing. One. Uh -huh. <laughs> Two. <Good>. Three. <laughs> Four. <laughs> Five. Uh -huh. Six. Uh -huh. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Very good. Switch back to the left side forward. All right. So <clears throat> the next one that we're gonna do the same thing is pox up. Now this one pox up sideways. Okay, these directions are coming into play. 
Good. We got that one back. Yes, yeah, back. Right. Exactly. You have, we have forward first. We have fo forward, forward. Now backwards. Now sideways with the rear hand. Front hand, you sweep back. Rear hand, you go sideways. This is what we call parry. Okay. It's, it's upward sideways. Okay, because this is a wusa, right? So yeah. when you finish, it's like this. Right, so you see, again, the striking hand is underneath the defensive hand. Okay. okay? Okay, but this only goes like I get this up, huh? Right. Okay. Yeah. Right? See, you see, when you sweep back, it's there. When you right. push up, it's the same, same height. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right? Okay. So so if I go front hand, okay, boom, it's right here, right? I go rear hand, see? It's right here. The front hand, rear hand. The rear hand travels less distance. Parry usually is the last, the like a last minute thing. Yes. The strike comes very close. It's like here. It just slaps out of the way, you know. Okay? Alright. <clears throat> One. That's it. Two. Right. If your striking arm touches your usa, then it's not high enough. Okay? okay. Two. That's it. Three. Good. Four. Five. Good. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, very good. Which side? Uh huh. Let's do four more times. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. So the reason is very simple. We have a front hand and a rear hand. We should be able to defend against use by using the front hand and also using the rear hand to defend. Okay? So front hand, if I'm doing pasta, it will be like this. Rear hand is like this, rather than switching. <laughs> okay. If we always defend with the front hand, then whichever hand is used is going to, it's going to be used to defend needs to be in the front. Right? So okay. Oh, 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 oh I gotta switch. Yeah. Well, that's a waste of time. Yeah. We have to take off where we left off. Okay. Right? If our hand happens to be in the rear, then you, you, you go from the rear. If your hand happens to be in the front, then you, you, you know, take off from the front. Right? Same thing, pan sao. Pan sao, right? Mm -hmm. Gan sao. Gan sao. Pak sao. Pak sao. Eventually, fuk sao. Fuk sao. It doesn't matter where your hand uh, where the position is, you should be able to go from there rather than, uh, oh, I gotta switch position in order to make it happen. Yeah. Yeah. Right? It's not efficient. So, simple, efficient, and direct are the three utmost elements in fighting. You don't have time to dig So, around. now we're gonna do switching. Yeah. This time, you will switch your hand in order to make so, it happen. Whichever hand you use to strike uh -huh. stays in the front. That, that way you don't have to change. Okay, let's look, look at this. One, up, right side forward. Uh, uh, Boom, okay. Okay. left side forward. Okay. Okay. Again, right side forward, okay? okay? So start with the left side forward, okay? One, strike, and then just simply drop the elbow. Perfect. Now your right hand is in the front. Okay. Two, and drop the elbow. Left in the front. Three, Right hand. Four. And then left hand. Five. And then right hand. Six. To the left. Seven. Right. Eight. Left. Nine. Good. Ten. Do one more set. Drop. One. <coughs> Two. Left in the front. Three. Right in the front. 
four, that's the elbow, <coughs> five, six, seven, that's the elbow, eight, nine, good, ten, okay, so eventually you enlist more joints to make your punch more, your strike more powerful. So eventually you're like this. And you see, and now power is more power, more joints are linked. Okay? Yeah. See, everything that we've learned in the past, you just stack them. <laughs> Rather than, okay, now in order to, to make it more powerful, you gotta do something else. Oh, wow, you're always acquiring new things. Just more and more and more. It's like you don't have enough hard drive here now. Yeah. No, it's just about applying concept. If you yeah. can do this by itself, you can do it with, eventually. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you see, you should yeah. do the same yeah. thing. You're just yeah. adding, you know, adding stuff to it rather than. Okay, this is this pile. Another pile. Oh, exactly. Wow. Think before everything you teach, you can stack on top of each other. Yes. All, yes. So good. They can all go to the exactly. Side well, so one can can stand side by side with five, and any random pattern, rather than oh, it needs to be in order. Yeah. That that's the technique. So again, it's the depth of the knowledge rather than the width. Yeah. You don't want to collect. Like I was gonna spend three years in karate, three years in taekwondo, three years in jiu-jitsu, and so on. So you don't have enough time in your life <laughs> to yeah. acquire all the styles in the world, yeah. right? Yeah. It's impossible. But once you understand the concepts of movements, then you understand what everybody else is doing by watching the oh, sticking pad and an unsticking pad. Right? Is it close range, or long range, medium range? Okay. When he when he throws this punch, it looks kick. What is he using? Is he using long range weapons, medium range weapons, or short range weapons? You, you immediately can dissect. Okay? Rather than, mm, to, oh, yeah, long range weapon he's using. Oh, he's using a medium weapon. You can just say it. Yeah. As, he, as he does it, you know it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, yeah, why, why, is, he, why is he using medium range weapon? Because his target is, is, falls within his, the medium range of his attack. Yeah. That's it. Simple. Right. So if if the guy is outside his medium range, he uses a long range weapon <laughs> to attack. Yeah. Yeah. Try to just like I have a mid range missile. I'm gonna reach a long range target. <laughs> right? He goes, Ooh, yeah. right? <laughs> so it's to us who who learn and, and practice and apply concepts, it's just so Cut and dry. Yeah, yeah. And so a lot of times you see people, you know, in these MMA fights, you know, and uh, to us it's so obvious that the guy, his opponent, is, is outside his medium range uh, attacks, and he's using medium range attack uh, weapon. Or you're not gonna reach there. Yeah, you're gonna tie yourself out. Right. So see, this is a long, long range weapon, right? Long range weapon, right? This is a medium range weapon. Well, how am I gonna reach him by using my weapon? <laughs> so what happens is they do this. Like this. Alright, so all this guy has to do is stick out his hand. <laughs> he says, okay, you're moving in towards me using your medium range weapon, but as you get into my punching range, boom, I'm gonna hit already. I'm gonna reach you with a long range. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right, but you see this done all the time. Yeah. People okay. using medium range weapon against the long range target. Oh I can't reach, so I need to step forward. As you step forward, he just kicks you. Are, are they trying to rely on their speed? No, their techniques. Okay. So to them, everything's a technique. Okay. A punch is a technique, an elbow is a te technique, a knee strike is a technique. So that's why you see people do this. They're like in a grappling range, like yeah. that, right? Yeah. So in order for them to kick, they do this. It's like this. Huh. Yeah. Because that's the only technique they, they know. They are applying techniques rather than understanding, yeah. applying concepts. Yeah. yeah. To us, why would I waste time bringing my knee up so I can attack? Yeah. I'm just going to go from where I am. Yeah. 
Yeah. Because that's right. a waste of time. Okay, now this time we are only going to use the rear hand to defend. Okay? Okay. By you uh, by applying this concept called pox up sideways. Okay, so it's like one. Okay? Now as, as when you finish with the defensive hand, mm -hmm. that defensive hand is gonna go forward. Then now your left hand is is in, in fact now, okay? Two. Okay, so this hand right here, see the defense hand? Mm -hmm. Becomes a point. One. Hand. Point. Two. Point. Three. Point. Four. Point. Five. Point. Six. Point. Seven. Point. Eight. Point. Nine point ten point. Okay, very good. You're absolutely good. So, remember I said drills are eventually applications. Yes. Everything we do, drill, and then we, we say, how do I turn this drill into an application? Okay. So, drill just to learn the movement, right? Uh, or uh, no. Every drill has multiple purposes. Okay. okay. And when you do this, the, the drill we just did, first of all, it's about a coordination between the mind and the body. See that? Whenever I finish this, the mind says, you can do this. That's how I always view it, because I'm always like, it's jumbled, you know, when I learn it. And yes. so then I gotta learn how to coordinate it. Yes, it's about yeah. coordination. Yeah. Not, not only between the arm, but also between the mind and the body. So the, the drill is, when you finish defending, you must point, okay? So when you get that, you get very fluent at it, and then you say, how do I apply this? Single-handed or double-handed? Okay, so right. Let's say simple, simple-handed. So I just one, two. When we're here, I'm not boom, right? Someone strikes, I push it out of the way. Yeah. Right. Or yeah. I just brush backwards or push or push forward. Okay. So with this drill, when I'm going sideways, I'm pushing the, his arm by by the wrist sideways. So it's a parry. Okay, so, and the drill says, after you do that, you get a point, mm -hmm. okay? So, eventually the pointing hand becomes a strengthening hand. Because we have to think of ourselves as a cop. Yes, if you're exactly. pointing at you and a suspect, and he starts reaching for his gun, you shoot. Yeah. yeah. That's the reason why we both point. No point, okay. But pointing is a prelude to striking, shooting, right? A pointing hand, you just shoot. So you have to eventually it becomes like this, okay? So if you uh, reach for my center line, you go one and two, right? So it eventually it becomes like this. One. You have the point in hand? You have the strength in hand. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Yeah, yeah. You didn't even lift the other hand. You just what? <laughs> I'm just saying, use it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Use how to apply one, one arm only. Yeah, yeah. So you see how, how that can eventually easily become a self-defense um, uh, application. Someone reaches for you, someone hits you, you know, you know, with either hand you just slap out of the way and then strike him in the, in the, in the face. <laughs> One hand. Yep, okay? Yep, yep. But eventually, you can say, my other hand, right, so you just drop, keep this hand, okay? Right, just to keep that in there, okay? I'm gonna reach for you, right? Just slap out of the way. And then slap. Uh, and now, since I'm over here, then I come back and then, okay. That is the drill. But in reality, you do this. Come, come. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. See that? No wrong movements, only the right time. Right. See, yeah, it would take too much to come back, right? So then. Right, right. Okay. But in the drill, you do that. But remember, we always think about simple, efficient, yes. and direct. Okay. Nothing is more direct than just go from where you, you, you <laughs> are. I'm here, I'm just gonna go from this, go. I'm just going, you're a shape. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so it's just so simple you start applying. You're right. Right. So when you train by yourself, everybody needs to do this. You you someone shows you something, you you master the, the mechanics of the movement, then you start you take it apart and say, okay, I'm gonna take it apart and see. How I can apply these parts in it has to serve a purpose. Yeah. You know, otherwise, why bother? So yeah. I take 
I do it with one hand. I I can do it with one handed or both with two handed. How do I do it with one handed? If I can, you, can, you, can you carry a baby, carry a bag of groceries, or shielding somebody? Yeah. See that all these scenarios are about using one handed when yeah. your other hand is not uh, available. Yeah. yeah. You know, you're, you, you're like shielding a family, carrying a baby or, or a small child, you know, you don't have both hands, so you, you're able to use one, to find one hand. <laughs> You know, you know. That's why we use both sides. We either my left hand, or during the fight, my left hand is injured. My right hand is injured. I can able still able to fight. Yes. You know, we 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 have to make sure we are able to deal with all kinds of situations, rather than conditions only favorable to us. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, then if I'm in a really bad situation, I'm done for. We, we can't control the world, so how we can we control the situation? That's right, we can only, we can only react to it. Yes, you know? so people always say, you, you can't be responsible for anybody else's action except for your own. Right? So that's what we're doing now. All right, so right <coughs> uh, now we're, we're going to switch things up even more by complicating things, and that's the best way to challenge the mind. Okay. Once the mind gets used to something, Repetitively, then it knows. It's okay, I know this already. Okay, we discussed it before. So That's a good lady, right? Yeah, then there's no problem. Okay, if I challenge the mind and the body constantly, a lot that allows you to grow. Okay, so from here we're going to stay in the left hand forward position. But now we're going to change, uh, switch from front hand defense, uh, front hand defense to rear hand defense. Okay. okay, so you, you come back, your left hand should always be in the front for this drill. Okay, okay. So, so right now, okay, front hand defense, back, rear hand defense, front hand defense, rear hand defense. I just gotta make sure every time I finish defending and striking, my left side should be on. Okay, so okay. start front hand, then rear hand. Yes, front, front hand. rear, front rear, okay? okay. <laughs> One, front hand, okay, point. Two, rear hand. Uh, rear hand defense. You know, her. Yeah. Yeah. Right now we're talking about rear hand and front hand, but defense. Three, front hand. Good point. Rear hand. Okay, so physically, my voice oh. represents your mind. Yeah. That's what you're thinking to yourself. Okay, I'm thinking like I'm practicing my own. Okay, I need to figure it out. Front hand, rear hand. Front hand, point, rear hand, point. Um. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, you are thinking. That's it. This is the process of linking the mind and the body. Yeah, okay. Okay? That's how you practice by yourself. Yes. Rather than waiting for your your teacher to tell you what to do. <laughs> okay, basically his voice represents my mind. Yeah, yeah. But I'm thinking, I can just call out the same commands to myself in here. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, let's uh, do it officially. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, so get into training stance. All right. All right. So I'm just going to call the numbers, okay? Okay. And the sequence is always front hand followed by rear hand back to front hand. Okay. okay. One. Two. Uh -huh. Three. Good. Four. Uh -huh. Five. Six. Uh -huh. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Switch sides. Same drill. Front, rear, front, rear. One. Uh, there you go. You gotta talk to your body about pointing. Two. Mm -hmm. Three. Mm -hmm. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight. Um, so that last one. Eight. Eight. Nine. 
Ten. Very good. Who's side? One more, one more set. Okay, same drill. Front hand, rear hand. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Who's side? Front hand, rear hand. One. Uh, okay. <laughs> front hand. Okay, front hand defense. Okay. Nine. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Very good. I, I gotta get the my elbow up better. I, did it look like I was kind of, I wasn't going up as far, did it? The knobs are on and not touch each other. Okay. That's, okay. that's the guideline. If you, okay. you don't want the arms to clash. Okay. That's the only thing. If you could. But sometimes I felt like instead of going sideways, it's going more further back than yeah, I should. Yeah, it's just, just from where you are. You know, actually, it's, <coughs> it should be like forward, just a little bit. Okay. You know, rather than backwards. So far, what we have been. Working on is this drill called four corner defense. Before we get to jump to the uh, the, the hook stop, the defensive offensive, <coughs> we are going to do the one we just did before. Remember? Forward, right? Defensive hand goes forward. Defensive hand goes forward. Okay. All right. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay. So watch one time what the drill. This is the same drill, but with the twist. Okay, okay. And that is really the secret, quote unquote, to proficiency and mastery. By looking at the same thing, same thing, that one thing from many different angles, yeah. when after you have done that, exhausted all the possibilities, they can own that movement. Yeah. Nobody, any, no, nothing anybody can do will surprise you because you already know all the possible ways yeah. to yeah. do yeah. that one movement. All right, so we have front hand defense, right? Front hand defense, we have rear hand defense. Once I finish that, the rear hand defense, I need to go to the other side. Okay, so like this. Front hand, rear hand. I'm using the one we just did before. There. Now the front hand is the right hand. Front hand, rear hand, and switch. Front hand, rear hand, and switch. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so see, <laughs> we just did that. Yeah, but yeah, right. that's one little extra. Right. Yeah. So the drill we did is so this. So front, front, well, this, this thing is. is this, yeah. this is the drill we just came from, see? Rear hand, point. Rear hand, point. Remember that? Yeah. That that was working exclusively on rear hand top side defense. Yeah. All we're doing is adding the front hand, followed by the rear hand, and then go back to the change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see how everything is stacked. It goes deeper and deeper. Yeah. Taller and taller rather than yeah. wider and higher. Yeah. I'm on one concept. Just same concept. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Perfect <laughs> front hand defense, rear hand defense. Yeah. Adding that change we just did from rear hand defense is whichever hand you use to defend, uh, to use the, deep, the rear hand defense top up, bring that hand forward to point. Then automatically, you switch to the other side. Every time you use the rear hand to point, you switch to the other side. So all we're adding is in the front end, which is a front hand pops up defense. Rear hand pops up and then change. Front hand pops up. Rear hand pops up then change. All right. Okay. <laughs> Just remember the, 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 the words and things that should become what you are thinking as you okay, are so. First front hand defense, right? Right. Okay. okay. Front hand, followed by rear hand, check point. There you go. Front hand, uh, front hand, right? 
Your hand. Change. Yes. There we go. Okay. Front hand. Front hand defense. Rear hand defense. Change. Right. Front defense. Rear hand defense. Change. Very good. No, front hand defense first. Oh, you're right. You're right. Okay. Front defense. Uh huh. Very good. My apologies. Rear hand defense. Change. Front defense. Uh huh. Rear hand defense. Point. Yeah. Front hand defense. Rear hand defense. Point. Front hand defense. Good. Rear hand defense. Uh, that's it. That's it. Yep. Point. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. So see. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've done this so many versions now, but they're all based on one thing. Are you repeating or you switching? Yeah. Yeah. Okay? yeah, 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 yeah. When, if, when, every time you're using different hand in the front, that's a switch. If, if every time you use the hand, your, your, your front hand stays the same, then it's repeat. We're switching from defending with the front hand or then defending with the rear hand. That is called a switch. But my pointing hand stays the same. I'm repeating the pointing hand. Yeah. See yeah, yeah, yeah. So eventually it becomes very, very, very deep. Okay. I'm working on repeating the left side of switching the defensive hand. See? Okay. Repeating the left side forward. You know, I'm switching the defensive hand. Repeating the right hand forward, but switching the defense the defensive hand. So no my goal is to be doing this on both sides. Yeah. So there is no preference. Yeah. You know, if you happen to be on the right hand forward, you can make you very comfortable. Or left hand forward, just as comfortable. You don't have to. All right, now I'm a former fighter, or lefty, so I got to train for six months to get used to that. Mm -hmm. That's your job. Why you train? Not additional. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So last one. Left hand forward is the full side. For now, we're only going to do front hand defense, okay? Front hand defense, okay? Reaching down the corner. So make sure you're not extending, overextending, or underextending the defensive arm, okay? All right, so we're gonna add the punch, right? So we know this bone needs to hit this corner, and this needs to hit this nose, okay? Okay, and one. That's it. Two. Very good. Three. Mm -hmm. Four. Good. Five. Beautiful. Six. Mm -hmm. Seven. Good. Eight. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Nine. Ten. Very good. You're very comfortable with the. Uh, with the uh, <laughs> Oops, I'll do that. Okay, switch to right side forward. Same thing, we're repeating the front, which is the right, right yes, <laughs> your right defensive hand, okay? One, good. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Okay, as you know, this is applying the concept of repeating. We're repeating the front hand defense, rear hand offense. Okay, all right, back to the left side forward. We're going to apply uh, by using the uh, repeating concept again. And this time <coughs> we're going to repeat the rear defensive hand. Okay, like this. Okay, further than the front hand. Front hand uh, hook style defense, rear hand hook style defense. Okay, we're going, we're only repeating the rear hand, rear hand hook style defense. Okay, before previously we were using the front hand uh, hook style defense. One, that's it. Make sure your elbow is not too up. Two, the stoning and shield. Three, Four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. All right, see, what I was doing is yeah. I'm just utilizing another concept. That's so I'm applying, I'm adding another concept by twisting give more power to the punch. Now, while you were doing this, I'm doing yeah. more power. Same thing with the front hand. I'm just adding more joints. All right, from your foot. To yeah, your the angle. power comes from the down, the action and reaction, you know? See, I'm not doing anything that much differently from what you were doing. Yeah, yeah. I'm not simply adding joints. Yeah, yeah. Right? Whoa, he's doing something completely different. Yeah. You don't need to do that. It's a concept. Right. Okay. So we 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 were applying uh, from the left side or from the right side, just repeating concept by using the same arm to defend the same arm to attack. Okay. Now we're going to do a switching concept by using the same side. Okay. So we're in a training stance for the for the duration of this drill. We we will always have our left hand in the front. Okay, we're going to start with front hand hook style defense, point with the same hand, and then followed by rear hand defense, point with the same hand, okay? okay. So we are repeating the left side, but switching between front hand and rear hand hook style defense. Okay. Starting with front hand Yeah, followed by rear hand. Okay. And that order can be changed anytime. If you can do front hand start, you can do a rear hand start. Yeah, yeah. 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 Understand yin and yang. Okay, all right. So from the left side, one front hand, two rear hand, three front hand, four rear hand, five front hand, six rear hand, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Okay, we're going to switch to the right side for the duration of this drill. The right hand will always be in front. Okay, start with the front hand. Good. Two, rear hand. Three, front hand. Four, rear hand. Five, front hand. Six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Very good. Okay, so now remember last time we met, we talked about using the shoulder. Yeah, yeah. Right? See now you can add the shoulder in there and then add the hip in there. All right. All right. All right. But yeah. the rest of the movements stay the same. Yeah. Yeah. Right? So rather than doing this, you can say. Oh, okay, now adding the shoulder. See that? From here, front hand, rear hand, front hand, rear hand. Ah, because as you reach, as you use more, more uh, reach, uh, more, uh, more joints, you start to have more reach. So from here, right? Front hand. All right, now. Front hand. <laughs> you see that? Because your body starts to turn sideways. As you come, turns your body turns sideways, your shoulder goes forward, and it gives you more reach. Yeah. Ah, okay. All right. Very good. All right. All right. Um, so now we're gonna go to that drill that we did before, which means you, after using the rear hand to defend, that hand needs to go forward so it can change sides constantly. So from the left side, right, front hand, right. Rear hand, see the hand, uh, go to the front. Now right hand forward. Okay. Front hand. Rear hand, uh, this hand goes forward. Okay. Okay. Front hand. Rear hand uh, goes forward. Yeah. Front hand. Rear hand goes forward. Front hand. Rear hand goes forward. Front hand. Rear hand goes forward. Okay? So the mind's always thinking, ah, I did this. What do I need to do? Next. Okay. 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 So the hand forward. Very good. One front hand. Two rear hand. Uh, rear hand defense. 
which is your right there. That hand goes forward. Good. Front hand. Oops. Front hand. Good. Rear hand. Rear hand goes forward. Front hand. Rear hand. Oh, we're going to move. Okay, rear hand. Ah, that's okay. Rear hand. And the hand goes forward. It's okay. The yeah. mind is confused. Is, which is, which is <laughs> the a, point of this? Yeah. Yes, that's the necessary <laughs> process. So I always tell people uh, when you made a mistake, it's not a mistake, it's a learning process. Yeah. Your mind is trying to connect. It's like this is Yeah, my brain is like <laughs> yeah, it's like you know, the, the more you do it, the more they come closer together. Eventually you go boom. Yeah. And that's otherwise. Lee, I don't need to come anymore. I, I got it. I got it. The first time I did, I got it. Wow, cool. You learn the whole system in a, in a month. <laughs> if only that simple. You know what I'm saying? You know, you show me once, I got it. Not only did I get it, I can uh, figure out other ways to, to uh, comply that. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's why this is cold through time and effort, you know. Right, yeah. All right. So I'm, I'm just going to count, okay? Um, you, you, don't rush. Okay. Put it out in your okay. head, okay? okay? All right, very good. One. Two. Yes. One. Two. Excellent. Up. Uh, there you go. One. Two. One, two, mm -hmm. one, mm -hmm. two, oh, mm -hmm. one, two. One, two, one, two, one. Mm -hmm. Oh, take your time. One, two, one, one. Two. One. Two. One. Two. Uh, give me last. Give me time. Give me time. Right. One. Two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Two, one, and that's the feedback. Yes. Okay, take your time. Take your time. Okay, so just, just uh, take, a, take a break. Very good. Okay, but yeah, I, I, I'm starting to kind of. Yeah, you're talking yourself through the, the process. You're keeping an eye, your mind's eye, you know, which arm to go forward, which arm did I just use, which arm I need to use next. It's that, it's that uh, yeah. thing between your muscle memory and your mind. You know, your body yeah. yeah. Okay, so just uh, let, let me show you what one simple drill can multiply so in so many ways. Okay, so right now we're doing very basic, okay? Front hand defense, rear hand defense. Okay, I need more power, okay? Rear defense, rear defense, any more power, okay? 
front hand defense. Rear hand defense. Okay? Okay, any more variation? Fighting stance. Front hand. Rear hand. Watch. Either rear hand, front hand, take it back another rear hand, rear hand. Front hand. Rear hand. Front hand. Rear hand. Front hand. Rear hand and forward. Yeah. Front hand. Rear hand and forward. Okay? Right. Yeah. Front hand. Rear hand and backwards. Front hand. Rear hand and backwards. Front hand. Rear hand and backwards. Okay? Yeah, yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See how yeah. it evolves over that. From yeah. training stance to testing stance, from step to non stepping to step. So now, we're going to use how to apply. Okay? So from training stance. Front hand, rear hand, I'm striking. Front hand, rear hand, striking. Front hand, rear hand, striking. Okay. All right, so now, that's both two-handed, single-handed. Swing. Okay. <laughs> See? Hook style, jump style. Well, now let's, let me recap very quickly how the same concept applies to all different ways. Okay? Time style. Time style. Okay? Hot style. Strike. Hook style. Strike. Okay? So, point your hand in. Time style. Strike. Okay? Same hand. Hot style. Strike. Or, same hand. Pops up strike. Yeah. Low here, got some strike. Yeah. Okay? Got some strike. Or, or just hand, same thing. Okay, same thing. Swing, jump, some strike. The other hand, jump, some strike. This hand, hooks, some strike. The other hand, yeah. hand hook. It's about fighting, right? Yeah. Yeah. Learn the drill and apply in the fighting. Yeah. So, so in the drill, in, 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 in the drill, we look for, oh, I learned how to use front hand trap and rear hand trap. Front hand trap. Oh, front hand trap. Rear hand trap. Okay. Yeah, yeah. See, when you fight, someone's going to put up their hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is how you put up the hand. Yeah. Because other people may do it in this way. Yeah, yeah. Same thing. I use rear hand. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Or oh, front hand. <laughs> okay. Yeah, See. Okay. okay. So you actually, you just you know come in. To the other guy, the other guy has to defend himself against that, and you go back and forth, back and forth, and then you get comfortable, and then you do a little free form, which means your strike is going to be unpredictable. Sometimes you use the front hand to trap, and then you sometimes you use the rear hand to trap. Okay. So it becomes more unpredictable, more real. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. In, a, in a real situation, you know, he yeah. doesn't know. He's not going to do a drill against you. No, he doesn't know uh -huh. which hand you're going to use to trap him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that everything, whatever, whatever you do, it's going to be a surprise to him. Yeah. Right? Because I can go from here, right? You move your hand up by using the front hand. See, I'm using uh -huh. my palm down to a, to attack. I can use the palm up to attack. At a moment, notice how would you defend against that? See, I'm going to go like this, right? Here. Here. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah. Front hand or rear hand. Yeah. Or really? Yeah. Do a fast right, right. Okay, hey, see. Ah, <laughs> you see, you see. Hey, you see how everything yeah. eventually comes up. <laughs> the mind says, I've done that. That's a pop out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's coming in. I'm just going to push it. Oh, yeah, that's the drill. Eventually, it becomes reality. Okay, right? okay, okay, okay. 